Welcome to today's edition of the show podcast. Back in February, Queen guitarist Brian May and drummer Roger Taylor shared that the band had been working with singer Adam Lambert on a song that hadn't come completely together yet. It now appears that may not have been a one-off try, though May still says they have had difficulty making much progress. Speaking with Guitar Player magazine as transcribed by Contact Music, May confirmed that there have been recent sessions with Lambert. I always say, I don't know. It would have to be a very spontaneous moment, started May discussing the possibility of new music before adding, actually Adam, Roger, Taylor, and myself have been in the studio trying things out, just because things came up. But up to this point we haven't felt that anything we've done has hit the button in the right way. So it's not like we're close to the idea, it's just that it hasn't happened yet. This would be the band's first new music with Lambert since he joined the band a decade ago with the exception of last year's reworked You Are the Champions tribute to healthcare workers. Admittedly, May reveals that the current restrictions associated with the pandemic haven't provided their ideal working climate. To be honest, life has now taken a turn in which it's very difficult to explore an avenue like that, he said. Things may change, but I don't think they're going to change very fast. Earlier this year, Taylor first tipped the previous track they had attempted with Lambert, while May offered, it was a song that Wood tried to adapt that had come from a friend. It had the makings of being a great song, but we couldn't crack it. We couldn't get there. The arrival of any new Queen material would certainly be of interest given the band has mostly dedicated their career to their past catalogue since the death of singer Freddie Mercury in 1991. They issued one album after the singer's death, 1995's Made in Heaven, which featured vocal and piano recordings from Mercury recorded while he was still living. After several benefit appearances and special concerts together, May and Taylor minus retired bassist John Deacon returned to touring with featured vocalist Paul Rogers. They issued one studio album, 2008's The Cosmos Rocks, during Rogers' tenure as a featured guest. Lambert, following a successful run on American Idol, succeeded Rogers as the band's featured vocalist in 2011. Outside of touring, the band has kept their legacy alive with the We Will Rock You musical theater production, and they got a huge boost from the 2018 film Bohemian Rhapsody that explored their early years and rise to fame. 